Hey everyone, so today we are finally, finally <laughs> going through all my makeup. I'm going to be decluttering and organizing everything. Okay, we went through everything and I feel cleansed. <laughs> I feel rejuvenated. I feel like this room looks so much better with my organization now and I'm just a lot happier and it's so freeing to see my makeup the way it is now. So this is gonna be a few separate videos. I don't have the biggest collection, but this whole ordeal, okay, this took so long to do. I thought this was going to be a modest week project. Uh, no. <laughs> this has been going on for months. So yeah, if you see nail changes, outfit changes, the whole shebang, that is why. <laughs> In this video, we're going to be organizing all of my eye pigments, my liquid eyeshadows, my glitters, some glitter glues, and some single eyeshadows as well. For all of my videos, you're probably gonna see me looking like this because I'm gonna be doing the same intro for all of them. Just to save myself a little bit of time and, you know, to make it all a collection, I can then make it like a little playlist or something. If you're a fan of all the tapping sounds and stuff, I made this video pretty much especially for all of the tapping sounds and stuff, so it's a little bit of ASMR, but also just satisfying to have an organized collection, so you don't have to be into ASMR to watch this, but if you are, I hope it pleases your senses. Um, <laughs> just makes me feel weird, you know, like, ugh. Anyway, <laughs> if you're into these kind of declutter organizational videos and you're new to the channel, why not subscribe because undoubtedly I probably will need one again <laughs> in the near future because I buy way too much makeup. Feel free to subscribe, all you need to do is hit the red button and the bell button and that will notify you when I upload. If we can get to a thousand by the end of the year, I'm gonna try and do a Christmas giveaway. Obviously that's not guaranteed since we've got like, uh, maybe like three months on the way possibly. I don't even know what month are we in. Yeah, if you want to, then just subscribe. I'm gonna stop rambling now because I've been talking for quite a while. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this series. Let's get straight into the organization. I'm so excited. Oh my god. On to the nightmare that is underneath. <laughs> we have a spoon down here. That's great. <laughs> so this is pretty much a drawer that I shove things into. <laughs> it has rhyme and reason or it used to. <laughs> this is my kind of pigments, glitters, liquid eyeshadows. I also kept earrings in here so I'd have them to hand for videos and stuff just so I can throw a pair on. These are really going to be distracted, aren't they? That's a bit better. Okay, so over time, I mean, you guys know I love liquid eyeshadows, so it's got a bit out of control. So this needs to be sorted. I know I'm probably going to be keeping pretty much everything that's in this drawer, but let's go through it anyway. So these are the Beauty Bay liquid lights. They're the liquid eyeshadows. I have four. I'm pretty sure I have another one somewhere. Do I not? Oh, yeah, sorry, I have five. <laughs> and I quite like them, so I'm gonna keep them all. <laughs> they're a good alternative to the Stila ones, but they're just not as pigmented. They're more toppers for your eyeshadow. These are staying. And then I've got my Stila Magnificent Metals. I've got three. Pretty much only one of them is usable, and that's Smoldering Satin, which is such a pretty shade. Um, yeah. It's beautiful. I mean, all of them are beautiful, but the other two I have are just, well, they've seen better days. They're very dried up, but I do like to keep them for comparison. Can I get any more out of that though? I, I can get a little bit, so I'm gonna keep these. Like, look at those though. Look at that silver glitter. Is that not insane? Yeah, word of caution with these, make sure they click shut, otherwise they dry out. <laughs> I also have my MAC ones, which I really love. I've got Diamond Crumbles, Every Day is Sunshine, and Flash and Dash, and they are just so pretty. Again, these are more like toppers as well. I like to use these on like the inner corner. They're not crazy pigmented, they're just very reflective. And some of them have more glitter in them than others, but look at those. They're so pretty. Staying. I have this eyeliner by Maybelline, which is the Gel Pot Eyeliner. I really like this, this is staying. I have my Duo Glue, my NYX Glitter Glue, and my Beauty Bakery Glue. These are all staying. My Stargazer pigments, I've got green, yellow, pink, and purple. Those I'm keeping because they're really affordable and neon. 
These are the Eye Glistens by Makeup Revolution. These are staying. Huda Beauty Matte and Metal Melted Eyeshadows are staying. This is in the shade Bubble Bath. It's got a matte and a shimmery side. I, I quite like this for travel. It's really convenient. Got two of these pigments by MUA. It's the Roll On Shimmer. I've got the blue and the gold. When I tried these, these were honestly pretty insane. Like, it's kind of hard to control with the Roll On, but the pigment and the shimmer of them is really impressive. Like this blue, I mean, come on. Yeah, I'm keeping both of these. They're just really pretty pigments. The roll-on, it can be a bit problematic because it comes out a little bit patchy, but I do really like the actual pigments in here. I have one, two, three, four of the Glam Crystals by Collection. They're just really cheap, but really good. I've got the shade Hustle, Cosmic Stars, Rock Chick, and I can't see what shade this one is because it's rubbed off, but it's the gold one. Keeping all of these, I have these Glam Crystals by collection, and um, I think we're gonna pass on these. They, ooh, jeez. I've used them once or twice. They're just not my favorite, and I've got plenty, so I can part with them. Give them to another home. Well, I've got this Peel Off Glitter, which is by Too Faced. Um, which is in like a rose goldy color. I do like it. I kind of wish the brush was a little bit thicker. I know that's not normal to say. <laughs> Usually you'd like a thin brush, but you just find yourself dipping in all the time to get product. But I do really like the glitter in here and it is handy to peel off, so I'm gonna keep it. I kept two of the Lottie London eye foils. Um, do I wanna, ooh, actually, that's quite nice. <laughs> it's thicker so it's more pigmented and I think I like this color yeah these two are staying I like them I've got a metal shock eyeshadow by essence I heard everybody raving about these so I picked one up but I haven't actually tried them so I don't know why it's in this drawer have I tried them I can't remember Ooh, it feels really cooling but eh, they're not that it's not that sparkly um that was the shade One Second to Mars. I think I have tried these actually. I think I filmed with them potentially. I can't remember. I don't really like those. Um, I'm gonna pass them on to somebody else. I had this one by NYX, which is Glitter Goals in the shade Polished Pinup, which is like a gold. Oh my gosh. Why has so much product come out on this? <laughs> there is a big glob of product on that. Okay. Um, hmm. Seems a little sheer. I prefer the thicker ones you see because I'd prefer to just have pigment straight away. I don't really like using toppers as such. I mean, I will, but mm, that's super pretty. I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I have this Scandal Eyes one, which is, I mean, well old. It's just kind of like a sheeny one, but it's like a cranberry shade. It feels really nice. I think I'm going to keep that. I don't know if these are available anymore. It's in the shade Berry Chrome, but I just think it's such a pretty shade and it's so different. So yeah, I'm gonna keep it. That would look really cool for like a cranberry eye with like a nude lip. Mm. Yes, inspiration. <laughs> Is that it for my liquid eyeshadows? Looks like it. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly remove all of my earrings <laughs> from in here because uh, they need to be like put somewhere properly so I can see them. Cause some of them are broken in here, some of them aren't. Uh, I really need to sort through them. I was thinking about maybe making like a DIY earring holder or something. Cause I've got a frame that maybe I could make one out of, but I'm just gonna just remove them from the situation right now. I've accumulated so many of these plastic backs, it's ridiculous. <laughs> I can't get them all right now. I'll get them later. <laughs> They're so finicky with nails. Okay, moving on to other stuff. <laughs> I've got glitters here. So I've got four by Makeup Revolution. I've got a red one, which is Hall of Fame, which is really pretty. I've got the shade Retrospect, which is so pretty. It's got like lilac yellow, green, blue. It's got a lot of shades in here. And then I've got the shade Interrupted, which is like a silver with gold in it. And then I have Grand Gesture, which is more of a rosy, coppery kind of glitter. I'm pretty much keeping all of these, by the way, <laughs> if you couldn't guess. I've got these glitters by, is it by LA Splash? Yeah, I've got LA Splash glitters. I've got Lava Dust, which is just pretty orange. Tropical Lime, which is like a turquoise. Silver Wave, which is a black with multicolored 
reflex in it. And then I've got the shade Purple Oasis, which is just, I think this is a pigment actually. Yeah, this is like an eye sparkle, not a glitter. The camera really doesn't do them that much justice, but they are really pretty, keeping all of them. I've got a Barium Dazzle Dust, which is black. I've never really used this. Uh, I can I can give this to somebody else. Oh, because it is such a mess. <laughs> and it's gone everywhere already. I've got my Marc Jacobs sequins. This isn't going nowhere. It's super pretty. Although I find it, I get a lot of fallout with it. But nonetheless, I'm keeping it. I've got the Kiko Holiday Collection Glitter, which I use for my Fenty Diamond Bomb dupe, which I still use, even though there's so much in here. Um, I don't know how anybody gets through any of these. They're just so much product. My drawers are looking so gross right now. Oh, and there we go. Great. <laughs> Stupid Barry M thing. Ugh. I've got a few of these, I think, in here. It's the Steeler things, the Steeler chrome things. Uh, I used to use them. That has gone off. I am getting rid of that. I've got these two glitters from Unicorn Cosmetics. Um, I'm gonna keep them, they're pretty. I've got the shades. I can't see, the, the writing is tiny on the bottom of that. I can't see it at all. I know one's a chunkier one than the other. One's red and one's got a unicorn kind of vibe going onto it. I did do a review of them, so if you're interested, I'll leave it in the eye over here. But moving right along, I've got my potion necklace in here. What's that doing in there? And another earring and a sunflower seed. Great. <laughs> I've got nail glue in here. And this is an oldie, but a goodie. This is the infallible single eyeshadow thing. It's in the shade Hourglass Beige. And yeah, it's a pretty gold color and it's really affordable. I don't even know if these are available anymore, but I'm gonna keep it. Okay, let's just try and separate these a little bit. Let's see what we've got here. These are the other Stila things I'm gonna get rid of them because I've had them for the same amount of time as the other one and that one's gone off so I'm not gonna chance it these are going I have the makeup revolution glitter paste I really enjoy this actually um, I have a feeling this is dried up though but look at that sparkle it's beautiful um, I'm gonna keep it because I think I can just add some of those drops for the foils into this to help revive it a little bit so I'm gonna keep those I've got four of the LA what is this? It's LA Girl. I've got Whiskey Sour, Blushing Bride, Pina Colada, and Hawaiian Fizz. They're all very different. Um, I'm keeping all of them. Smolder Cosmetics Autumn Glitter. This is gorgeous. I am going to be using this a lot in the next coming months, but it is just a stunning coppery warm glitter. Like the camera again doesn't do it justice. It's just, it's just an insane insane color okay these are more pigments oh, i just realized i have another green what <laughs> these don't tell me i i did i bought another one when i already had one this is the problem <laughs> i need to be able to see what i got because otherwise i buy doubles Ugh. well somebody else can have the new one then ah oh, that's so annoying these pigments have so much in them Ugh. anyway <laughs> These like, I have these like gel liquid things from Makeup Revolution. Um, I do really like them, I just rarely use them. It's one where you add the gel to and it goes like a liquid and they're quite metallic. Can you guys tell which one my favorite one is? <laughs> I've used this one so much. This is in the shade Rebound. It's like the rose gold kind of shade. Um, you know what, I'm just gonna keep this one because clearly it's the most loved one and I'm gonna get rid of all of these three. I have more Makeup Revolution, these are more pigments. Um, got the shade Goody Two Shoes, which is a pretty pink pearl. Beck and Call, which is a pink and gold reflex, really pretty. And then Saint, which is, I'm pretty sure just a white with a slight pearl to it, and keeping that as well. I have another one of these L'Oreal eyeshadows. This is in the shade Forever Pink. Um, yeah, that one's pretty too. I'm gonna keep that one as well. Although I clearly have not used that one that much and I don't know why. Um, I've pretty much hit pan on the gold one. I didn't even realize I had the shade. Good to know. <laughs> By the way, if the lighting has shifted, it's because it's now dark outside and I'm just using my softbox because I don't have any other light in here. So it may look a little dark, so I'm sorry about any shadows or anything like that. I'm trying. <laughs> 
I bought all these peaches and cream pigments that I know are staying, so it's just to remove these. I've got some more Smolder Cosmetics ones. Um, I'm going to keep these again. They're really nice. Ooh. I need to try them out more, but yeah, I'm just going to keep them. I have these Bella Pierre. Uh, I've never used them. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of these because I've never even shown any interest in them, so I'm going to get rid of them. <laughs> I have these two BH Cosmetics pigments, which are so pretty, in the shade Radiant and Precious. One's a pretty silver one, and then one's more rose gold. So I'm going to keep these two. Um, what is this? This literally has no name on it. All I know is it's in the shade Dynamic. Um, okay, I'm going to let that go. <laughs> I have a Kiko, I'm pretty sure this is like an eye gel. Oh, it's a creamy eyeshadow in the shade number seven. I can't get my finger in there. <laughs> Do you even see what it's like? Um, okay, use a nail, I guess. Oh, what? I am confused. Okay, this just has like a lot of silver reflect to it. On the top, I don't know if you guys can see, it looks like it's gonna be a rose gold, but then when you actually swatch it, there's a load of silver in it. I don't like that. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get rid of that. It is like, it's so misleading in there. <laughs> Although the shimmer on that is pretty crazy. Um, I'm actually gonna keep it. <laughs> Just because I don't have that much cool tone stuff in here. So I wanna try it because that glimmer is amazing. So I'm gonna keep it, I changed my mind. I'm allowed to change my mind, okay? Don't judge me. <laughs> I have this glitter by Barry M. It's just like a white with purple reflex. It's really pretty. Um, yeah, I'm gonna keep that. And then I have two MAC products. I have the pigment in tan. Shan XO used to go on about this, so I decided to purchase it. <laughs> um, it's just like a bronze pigment. And then I have this glitter, which is just in the shade bronze, which next to each other, they look like they would probably work pretty well together. <laughs> um, but it's a super fine glitter and it's gorgeous. So these are both staying. And let's see what's behind here. <laughs> oh, I've got hair tinsel. These are fun around Christmas. I've got a remote to other lights that are somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> oh, my mixing tool, that's handy. I need that. Um, let's see. Okay, so I have some fake nails. <laughs> um, this is a this is an eye palette like that looks like this. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna get rid of it. I've never opened it, I don't think. And it's a Scorpio palette. I'm a Taurus, so no. Thank you very much. <laughs> Freedom Single Eyeshadow, another Freedom Single Eyeshadow, a Make Revolution Single Eyeshadow. I'm pretty sure I swatched this and it was pretty nice. Wow. Yeah, that is pretty nice. Um, I'm not going to keep it though. I rarely use ones like these, so I'm just going to pass these on to somebody else who might like them. I have an on and off switch for my camera, which I could never figure out. So I will do though. <laughs> I just need to work out how to use it. It'll be so handy for filming. I have a MAC Signal Shadow. I'm pretty sure this came free with a purchase somewhere. It's in the shade Luna. It's like a blue metallic, which is, I mean, it is gorgeous, but I just don't know if I would ever use this. I mean, I haven't used it already, so. Um, I'll just swatch it real quick. Ooh, it feels really soft. Ooh. Um, wow, it was pretty impressive, actually. Um, it's like a black blue. Now I'm gonna see if anybody else wants it. There's no point in me having it if I'm, I mean, I don't really wear blue eyeshadow, so. There's no point, somebody else can have it. And then I have this Inglot pigment, which is so funny, because I walked in and I thought about Makeup Forever and I was asking the woman, I was like, these are Starlet powders? And she was like, what? <laughs> I'm that girl. Anyway, this is super pretty though. This was a collaboration they did with JLo and I'm still yet to use it, but look at that. I don't know if it's picking it up on camera. Probably not because it's not focusing. <laughs> But it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm keeping this uh, throwing away the packaging though. Goodbye. <laughs> okay, so there's another drawer down. I just need to get all the backs of my earrings now. <laughs> I'm once again just going to clean out this drawer and then we'll move on. <laughs> you know, looking at the eye cream now, it looks more purple. It's changing. I don't understand. <laughs> These are all of the ones I'm getting rid of. <laughs> so it's uh, just over a handful. So I am getting rid of quite a few, but to be honest, 
I'm not geared to be getting rid of any of these because I use all of them and I like to have my options. So, oh, I'm just gonna take these out of the picture and let's get to organizing. I think I'm gonna have to play around a bit with fitting everything in, but let's get to organizing. frustrating drawer I've ever had to put back together again. Um, <laughs> I'm not 100% happy with it but it'll do for now. Uh, I'm done with sorting this out. <laughs> okay so that is all done. I've got my liquid eyeshadows for here and for here at the moment. Um, again I'm not 100% happy with them but it's fine. I'll, I'll cope. <laughs> 
she says as she starts rearranging her guard. Eyeshadows, glitters, these are these sections. Pigments and some individual eyeshadows. These are more pigments. My stargazer neon pigments with some glitters. Glitters here, some more single eyeshadows, and these are more glitters. So it's kind of organized. I can see where everything is. Uh, yeah, so that's those done. Let's move right along all right and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoy the series i honestly love watching makeup to clutter videos and organization videos so i hope this video is the same for you guys if you did enjoy it then please leave a thumbs up <laughs> If you want to see future declutters then don't forget to subscribe, hit the red button down below and the bell button to get notified of my future uploads. If you're watching this in the future and they're already all uploaded, I hopefully have made a playlist and I'll link it in the eye view over there or I'll link it down below for you guys. Here's to staying organized forever. Yeah, <laughs> we can only hope. <laughs> but yeah, that is it from me. I hope you're having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world and I hope you tune in for the next one. Till then. Bye guys!